Why, hello there, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Ash, aka Axel Kindness, and it's been far too long, guys. I'm so sorry about the lack of consistent uploads again, but I am in my thankfully last final season of my life, I hope. Unless there's like surprise finals for jobs that I'm unfamiliar with. Thankfully, I'm almost done. I'm almost graduated, but with that comes a lot of stress. So apologies. Um, I've had to put more of my focus on that, which I hope is at least a little understandable, but I am ready to jump back into today's build. So let's get started. Before we get too far into things, I do have a little teensy update as far as our Cottagecore shopping district area here. I actually made a little bit of a change to this area that was once our like picnic place. I just wasn't a fan of it. You know, I just, I kept walking past it and I didn't like it. So we changed it. It's a cute little flower field now. And honestly, it's one of my favorite areas on Cardigan as of now, so. I am very happy that we did that. That definitely turned out for the better, I think. But what I actually wanted to work on today is I also expanded this pathway a little bit and I don't really know what to do with the rest of this. Uh, right now I have expanded it to absolutely nothing. There's nothing here yet. You guys can probably see from this little uh, dirt outline over here, but I did actually start to outline where I think I want a villager's house to go. I'm not sure who is going here, which is a lie, because this is post-recording Ashley and she does know who goes here. But at the time, I had no idea who was going here. All I knew was that I didn't want it to be someone who was moving off of our island, like Flo or Rudy, because I don't know who's gonna show up on their hunt. What if I put Rudy's house here and then while I'm hunting to fill his plot, we find Goldie, who I want to have in a different area of the island on a sunflower farm, you know? So of the villagers that I have right now, the only one that I don't, I guess there are two. It was Coco and Daisy, whose areas probably could have fit here. I could have had Coco's little pottery shop here, but we did end up settling on putting Daisy's house here. So now, without further ado, let's actually hop into this build process here. Honestly, this path was the death of me. I had no idea what I was doing with this path. Are we surprised? I went into something else without a plan. We're used to this at this point. Same song and dance, but I, you guys are gonna watch me redo this path like I think four or five times. <laughs> and even then, I think I ended up making some changes later on, but I just, it was so hard to visualize this area without the house built. We do eventually just time travel and skip to her house being there, um, which creates its own problem, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. However, after messing with it, I did finally settle at least on a shape that I wanted, um, but I wanted to see what some items looked like in this area, so BRB. All right, now, this item that I've been visualizing in my head, we gotta put a little cute little code here. Oh, oh my gosh, guys, and speaking of codes, as of the time that this video comes out, I know, I'm so excited, and I hope you guys are proud of me. I have finally collected all of the codes and the creators behind them that I use on this island, and they are live on a Pinterest board. I was going to try to custom make them and put them on like a website or something, but you know, the final season didn't really have time for that. So if you guys want to check out the codes or any of the codes that I'm using in this video or that I've used in earlier videos, check them out on my Pinterest. That'll be linked in the description if anyone is looking for those codes. I know I've gotten some comments about that. but. Back to the build, as we were talking to Daisy just a moment ago, she said something that shaped the entirety of this build. It all came together. She talked about having a place to air dry her laundry. So the one idea that I ended up going into this build with is a little spot for Miss Daisy to hang her laundry. However, the, uh, the problem that I had hinted towards uh, now that her house is here is that she is also here. And Daisy, I love you, but she sits in that area by the river literally until we time travel later in the build. She's literally just here the whole time, and she is so lucky that she is freaking adorable. I love Daisy. Oh no, back to more pathing struggles. You guys are watching me trying to figure out how to do diagonal path to plant crops on. The idea that I was having in my head is, oh, you can just put like the diagonal curved paths of like the nine tile paths. 
Except that's not how the in-game paths work. Um, can you guys tell I do a lot of custom designs? <laughs> so I ended up having to settle on having the code in between the rows of crops, which does look way better, and I think is what I was trying to get across in my head, but it got lost in translation. I don't know. Speaking of getting lost in translation, I actually had someone recently comment, um, I'm gonna see if I can put that up on screen now. I don't remember who commented it off the top of my head, but this comment right here, they asked if uh, my island name Cardigan was a Taylor Swift reference, 100%. It absolutely is. If you haven't been around to see my fall island, my original island, which is technically named Camp Corgi because I named it that when the game first came out, but honorarily, it is Evermore. Again, that one's a much more blatant Taylor Swift reference, I think, but it's also still whimsical and cute, just the same way Cardigan is. And I liked that it wasn't an explicit Taylor Swift thing, because, like, I get it. I, I get not wanting to have, like, an entirely Swifty-themed island or, like, to watch someone who does that. However, I am going to take this opportunity to continue to talk about Taylor Swift, because... Those of you who are involved at all in music, I guess at the moment, know that her album Tortured Poets Department just came out recently. And after a week of losing my mind over the fact that my tracking wasn't updating, I do have in my hands a signed Tortured Poets Department CD. I've been losing my mind over this. Guys, this has been the highlight of my week. I also, um, for my birthday, ordered a signed Noah Khan Forever insert, and that came in on the same day as well. Y'all, this week was a great week. And if you guys are interested in seeing me talk about those, head over to my Instagram, check that out. I've been posting about those over there because I am in love with them. Guys, I've spent like half the video talking about Taylor Swift. I'm so sorry, we'll move on. But yes, uh, so we time travel, we're gonna time travel here in just a little bit to grow some of these crops. I was kind of thinking that like, I don't know, just a cute little farm. I don't know if Daisy would be like a farmer, but I have this vision of like Cardigan being a very community centered island. So like, oh, that'd be a good idea. Like a farmer's market. Write that down, write that down. But I have this idea of everyone kind of contributing a little bit of something to the island. So like Daisy, maybe she, um, I mean, she could do like fabric and sewing and stuff. She could do that too. I don't really have anything nailed down for her. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. But at the very least, I figured she could have some cute little crops in her front yard. Maybe she just likes to garden, you know? That's that's perfectly okay too. I think that that'd be really cute for her, you know, given the daisy at all. And actually, speaking of daisies, it might be cute. I was kind of just now thinking about like a flower farm of some kind. And then I saw like the little patches of purple that she's got in her design. What if she has a little lavender field? That could be really cute. I'm really liking that idea. And I feel like that's more unique than just like throwing some crops in her front yard, which is kind of what I did for this build. So maybe we'll do that. You guys let me know if you think that she would have a little lavender field. I think that she would for sure be lavender scented. I think that if I was to smell Daisy, she would smell like lavender. Maybe that's a hot take. I don't know. But... Either way, let's focus on what's actually happening and not what might be happening in the future. Um, right now, I'm just sort of playing around with some little decorations to put over here in this area. I don't know, you guys are seeing me run around in circles. That's because I don't know what I'm doing. I do that whenever I'm waiting for an idea to come to me. I kind of do that in real life, too, where, like, if I'm waiting for an idea, I'll, like, just stick my hands out and just kind of, like, turn it a few different directions, and I'm like, what was I doing? What was the plan? That's pretty much sums up my life in a nutshell. I did eventually move back over this way. This area is kind of like a minor focus in this build. It wasn't obviously like the central area. This isn't really Daisy's house, but this pathway, this like middle space, it felt weird to leave it empty. And it had no right to be as difficult to decorate as it was. I don't know what it is about this space, but I went back and forth so many times. I even had Alex give me some input of like, hey, does this look better or does this look better? So Alex is now credited as a co-creator in this build. Anyways, shifting focus and coming back to Miss Daisy, I chatted with her again and she mentioned not wanting any weeds in her front yard, which thankfully I didn't have any of. There's like custom designs for weeds, but they're not actual weeds. I was 100% about to go and retroactively pick up the weeds because she said she didn't want them in her house. 
Can we tell I'm a recovering people pleaser? Anyways, you guys will probably notice that I do that a lot. I actually don't know if I usually leave that in videos. I decided to this time just to kind of give myself an excuse to talk about this, but, but that's actually something that I've started doing with this island and I love it. I've been trying to make more of a point to casually talk to my villagers because usually like with my play style, but I get so focused on the building that it becomes like a building simulator and my villagers are just there for me to give them gifts and get their photos. So I like that, I don't know, it gives me an excuse to talk to them and I also get ideas from what they say. So like Daisy mentioned she wanted laundry. We incorporated that into her build. Um, like Marshall's talked about like running a cafe before. So that inspired me to incorporate giving him some kind of cafe um, in the final iteration of his house, whenever we make it there. But yeah, I really, I really like to do that. It makes it feel like the builds are more personalized and it feels, I don't know, it feels more fun. It makes the villagers feel like they have a little bit of life to them, you know? After stumbling my way through that thought, um, this is the area that I kind of mentioned I had gotten Alex's input on because I wasn't sure if like, because you can see there's a bird bath on the right and there's also a bird bath on the left. I wasn't sure if that was too many bird baths. Can one have too many bird baths is the real question. But I forget what we decided. We'll see eventually, obviously, in the final reveal what I decided. I'm sure that if I, if I in the future think that it looks like too much, then certainly Ashley in the past thought it was too much. Does that make sense? Probably not. I'm used to that. But anyways, we're nearing the end of this build. I'm just gonna run around and make a few final touches and I will be right back with the reveal. Alrighty, and that's going to do it for our build for Sweet Miss Daisy here. I sure hope that she likes it, and I sure hope that you guys liked it as well. I hope that you guys enjoy this build. I had a lot of fun putting it together. And yeah, if you've made it this far, thank you very much for sticking around. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube jazz, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!